Greetings to another RC Mojo video. Today we've got a quick little guide about extending servo leads. Sometimes they're just too short. Wing mounted aileron servos, tail mounted servos, large scale trucks, or just routing them to avoid moving parts. All might be that much easier with a longer lead. There's three methods of extending. First is a good old extension lead. You can just plug it in and off you go. The problem here is they come apart through vibration and stress. You can tie them up with some floss and a dab of sino, but that doesn't fix the other problem of corrosion in the contacts. And if you're burying the connectors, that can mean quite a bit of work to fix any problems. Second, requires some servo wire. Any good model shop should stock it in various colours to match different servo brands. Now, this method does invalidate your warranty, so thoroughly test the servo before you start. When you're sure it's good to go, Get the cutters out and cut the three wires up near the servo end, stepping the cuts by a centimetre or so. Do the same with a length of new wire, strip and tin the ends, pop some heat shrink on and solder them together. Repeat at the other end and you should have something like this. It will be more corrosion resistant and there's no extra connector to come loose. But this isn't the best way. The third way, you'll need to be able to solder a wire to a PCB. This is the trickiest method, and like number two, it'll invalidate your warranty. Start by taking the bottom off the servo. Now, some servos are a bit different inside, but the basic connection to the outside world is pretty much the same on most servos. First thing we need to do is remove the standard lead from the servo, after making note of which wire goes to which pad on the PCB. Heat up all three wires at once and remove, making sure you don't damage any of the nearby components. Now, take some of the servo wire and cut it to the length you require. Anything up to a metre, or 39 inches, will work, but shorter is better, so try not to have too much excess. Strip and tin the end, then solder it to the PCB matching the original lead. Pop the bottom of the servo back on. Now, for this bit we'll need a crimp tool, terminals and housing. Start by stripping one of the wires, about 5 or 6 mil. Then fold the exposed wire in half. This is to give the crimp something to grip. Place the wire in the terminal and crimp it. Pop it in the housing. Repeat for the other two wires and there you have it. Seems a bit more complicated, but with practice it's quicker than the splice method and gives you a nice clean lead of any length you need. As a rule of thumb, as mentioned earlier, you don't want to go more than a metre in length or you'll start to run into problems. Volt drop, noise and lots of other things you don't really want. Ideally, you want the leads to be just long enough for the job they need to do. You can get amplifiers for really long runs, but that would be a subject of another video. Hope that was useful. If it was, let us know by hitting the like button, and if you'd like to be told when we upload more video, why not subscribe? <laughs>